to Fresno Chappie Zoo in our extended summer learning program. My name is Jennifer and today we're going to learn about wetlands. Today we're going to learn about a very special habitat called a wetland. A wetland is an area of land that gets soaked by water and creates a very complex environment. Some wetlands are flooded all the time and some have drying and soaking patterns. Wetlands are found around the world and can look very different depending on where they are. Let's take a look at some of the animals and plants around the zoo that called wetlands home. Wetlands are important habitats for many different species. The diverse species of plants and animals in the ecosystem creates large food webs. Species like the tentacled water snake depend on the slow moving water of wetland habitats for hunting fish. These snakes are also able to blend in with the sticks and plants in the water. They are really well kept in camouflage. Can you tell what is a snake and what is a stick? All of these plants and animals living together creates intricate ecosystems with many different food chains. If you watch the flamingo standing in the water, you can see them eating with their heads upside down. Flamingos have little bristles like a broom in their beaks, so putting their head upside down helps them pick out small pink shrimp and other food from the salty water. Flamingos are well known for their bright colors. But did you know that their characteristic pink comes from the food they eat? This habitat is also critical to many species as a place to raise their young. The large number of plants produces food while providing shelter for young animals. Take a look at the bright pink birds way up in the trees. Scarlet's ibis build their nest in trees along the water's edge for protection while eating insects and crustaceans found in and around the water. All species are adapted to survive in their habitat. For wetland species, many are adapted for both land and water. Many bird species, like the black neck stilt, have long legs for wading in shallow water and long beaks for catching fish or insects. Looking at the American alligator, we see many adaptations for life on land and in water. One adaptation is their nostrils on the top of their snout, almost like a snorkel mask. This allows them to submerge almost entirely underwater while still being able to breathe. What other adaptations do you see? Animals aren't the only ones adapted for the wetlands environment. Plants also have unique characteristics that help them to survive. Some plants, like the lily pad, are adapted to not having soil and instead float on top of the water. They then provide food and shelter to other species. Wetlands also play important roles for humans. They help hold water to prevent flooding, and the large number of plants found in wetland habitats help filter the water to keep our waterways clean. There is a lot going on under the water in a wetland, and all the living and non-living things need to work together so the ecosystem can thrive. I hope you had a great time visiting the zoo's wetlands. We hope to see you back next week as we visit the desert.